me ask you a question. Who wants to win the lottery? Raise your hand. Who wants to become a millionaire? Raise your hand. Okay, keep your hands up. Are you willing to pay the price? Yes or no? Yes. Does, it, does it cost a million dollars? Are you willing to pay the price? Why don't you pay for lottery tickets? <laughs> Let's pause for a bit. Why does it always have to be a price? Why do we always have to pay a price? Why do we have this kind of negative feeling when we think about money? Why is it always you have to grind blood, sweat, and tears? Or you have to sacrifice your integrity, your health, your time, your energy, all the things you seem to cherish very much. So it's kind of a paradox, isn't it? It's like the devil and the angel standing on their shoulders saying, yeah, I want money, it's good, but no, 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 money is going to attract bad people. We see it in the news. And I was raised with that kind of mentality, thinking that rich people are, they're snobs, right? And their kids are spoiled brats. When they buy stuff, they go like, there, take the money, or keep the chain, you filthy animal. <laughs> when we think of rich people, it's always filthy, rich, not spectacularly rich. And I had to work on my mindset. So today, I want to share with you how I developed a more loving relationship, a friendship with money. A very important thing I learned as I went through programs and books about money mindsets is money is energy. Money's last name is not NTD, USD, Lomingbi. It is not. It's energy. And energy can be transmuted into physical and non-physical things. For example, when you spend money to buy a chocolate cake, it gets turned into that cake that you enjoy. It adds value to your life. Money can also be transmuted into experiences. For example, Toastmasters. We pay the fee to enjoy this company and to um, increase our ability to communicate with others, become a leader, use a language of English, yada yada. And why, why do we think of money as just physical paper and the metal that we carry in our, our pockets? It's really, really ridiculous when you really think of it. So let's shake, shake, shake that, that, that strong belief within our subconscious. It's energy, it travels, it moves around, it transmutes into shapes and forms. But I know a lot of you, including me in the past, would think, no, 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 money is the numbers in my bank. It's what I, what I can count, my salary, what I get at the beginning or the end of the month. Don't talk to me that woo foo foo thing about, oh, money is energy, let's just meditate and money will come to me. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about building that relationship and understanding money is so much more than what you carry in your pocket. If you find it hard to understand that money is energy, I'll share another way I learned to communicate with money. Think of money as a friend. So stop evil shaming money. It is not good, it is me, it is bullying on so many different levels. Money is energy, it is neutral. People with money, like people with power, people with time, people have energy, they can choose whether or not they use it for bad purposes. If you think rich people, wealthy people are rude people, let me tell you this. A lot of the most generous people on earth are rich people. They have a lot of money, they have a lot of energy and resources to allocate. Think of Bill Gates. He donates money every year. Think of all the influencers out there that are making a difference. They are investing in green companies, green products. And when I think of money as my friend, I, I know this friend. Money, my friend, likes to travel. 
He likes to see the world, travel around the world, speak in different tongues, because French is romantic, and Spanish is full of passion, and Japanese is cute and exotic. He, he likes to see many things and experience many things just like you and I. So how do I help my money travel safely? I choose to invest and transmute it into sources and shapes and forms that are good for the earth. I buy clothes from, product, from brands that produce sustainable clothing. I donate money to people because I know that this way money can travel to the lesser developed countries and people in need and thus have a more deeper level of love with the world. And money not only likes to travel, money likes to have meaning. So I share what I love with my money. I buy artwork I like, art supplies I use to create art to, to make the world a better place. So money is involved. We hang out a lot. We hang out and experience life in a fuller, grander way. So next time when you think of money, when people ask you, show me the money, when they say that to you, say, I am the money. <laughs> but let's do a practice. Show me the money. I am the money. And, and you, if you feel a bit, oh, uh, that is a bit, you know, awkward. Try saying, hey, I'm with money. <laughs> okay. Show me the money. I'm with money. money. Okay, thank you. <laughs>